This past week was a busy one for me. I've been out shooting a bunch of cool new things like the NASA ACS-3 solar cell, and I even went out a couple of nights to time-lapse the Milky Way core before it sets for the year. The other really cool thing is that I was able to capture the Northern Lights not just once, but twice this week. The aurora was predicted to be a KP8 or higher on the night of October 10th into the early morning hours on the 11th. So just before sunset on the 10th, I made the short drive to my favorite new dark sky location here in Southwest Idaho. This place is a Bortle 2 sky and less than 30 minutes from my home. Wow, this is blowing my mind right now. Not only is it mostly cloudy here, but we also have a very bright 50% waxing moon in the southern sky. Yet, I'm still seeing very clearly green and red and pink auroras all over through the cloud cover. Tonight's gonna be pretty crazy once these clouds clear out. I can already see some stars to the west. All the clouds are pushing out to the east and yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful night out here. I can't wait. The lights were very active in the eastern sky. So I started a couple of time lapses. Whoa, did you just see that? Let's slow that down and zoom in. This quick flash is what's known as a satellite flare. Crazy how bright these things can get. Let's get back to this aurora clip. The clouds were still hanging out, but you can clearly see the lights moving around and changing colors rapidly. The thing I find most interesting about this shot happened right about now. Notice how the aurora was going wild and it just seems to stabilize and turn this deep pinkish red that lasted for the rest of the night. I still can't believe I captured this. Look at this right now. This is just insane how well you can see the aurora through the clouds. It's just pink in every direction, even overhead. Look. It's just pink over here to the west. Like, look at that right there. That's west. That's due west. I brought my trusty Sony a7S to get some real-time video. 
It's the old Mark I version and the shutter is busted, but it still shoots really nice low light video and I find it very helpful with spotting the lights in real time. The cool thing about video is you occasionally get lucky and capture something like a meteor streaking through the sky, like this. Like lines, you know? And sometimes you get really lucky and get two, like I did here. I think it's really neat seeing these in the live video. The time-lapse cameras got them, but it all happens so fast and it's just not as impressive. I've seen the Northern Lights a dozen or so times now in the last two years and every single one of these nights are burned in my brain forever. It's such a magical experience every time, not to mention that it was just a few short years ago that I thought I'd never see the Northern Lights unless I booked an expensive trip to Iceland or Alaska to see them. But look, it goes pretty much overhead with the pillars and then... Check out that one over there. Oh, look at that one over there. Look at it in real time. Yeah, this is insane. Wow. This was such an amazing night. Not only was it one of the best displays of the lights that I've ever seen, but I was also lucky enough to have my friends Josh and Kat meet up. We all sat back watching the show. We oohed and <laughs> awed at every light pillar and every change of color. This is definitely a night we're not going to forget for a, a long, long time. Ah! I am a dinosaur! Thanks for watching till the end, and I hope you have clear skies.